Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to The Plus Size, your girl AJ Marie, coming back with another video. This is going to be a collective haul, including KKW Fragrance, Zulily, Tea Chip, and Amazon. So Amazon is the bulk of this whole haul. I want to apologize for last week. I officially started work and I am trying to get used to my schedule and trying to figure out when I can film and when I can edit and all that stuff so I can bring you content every week. So I do apologize. I was like super tired coming back from work, but it's all good. I'm glad to be out again and socializing a little bit, still being safe. But yeah, that's why I didn't do a video next Sunday. But I would definitely make sure I keep up as much as I can. Um, just bear with me because I'm trying to figure out my schedule. And yeah, let's get into the haul. <laughs> Alright, so first I'm going to open up my stuff from KKW Fragrance. I have been restocking all my fragrances because I have ran out. I don't know if you can see it back here, but this is where... Back there, that's where my fragrances are, and there's like three up there because I used all my fragrances up. So, you'll see a lot of fragrances in this haul because I got a couple, like six. So, <laughs> not from KKW, just in general. So, my first one is the brand new one. I just, I consider myself a collector now. I like not knowing like what the fragrance is gonna smell like even though sometimes I'm wasting my money but it's okay um but also I like that there is different um bottle shapes and like you know it's a different theme every time she releases a fragrance so I don't know it just makes me want to buy maybe that was her whole agenda I don't know but and I love me some Kim Kardashian West so this is the KKW and Chris collection um i opened this i smelt it it smells so nice like i love it <laughs> like this is a good buy this was definitely a good buy so here is the packaging how pretty is this this is so cute it smells really good i'm gonna try to like describe it for you um it's light it's um it kind of smells cologne but like a woman's cologne like a light cologne so I'm assuming that's that musk this does have um, a musk scent in it so nice it just smells so nice I don't know how to explain it but I really love it this is a good purchase if you saw this and was interested I really like it, it works well with my body chemistry of course everybody's body chemistry is different but oh, I love the smell of this it just smells nice. It's musky, but it's light. It kind of smells like cologne and I like that kind of cologne type smell. Like, mm, I love it. This is the bottle again. Can't wait to put this on my shelf and actually use it. I've been waiting to haul it. So, yeah. So, my next purchase from KKW Fragrance is this one here. It is the Yellow Diamond. This is the collab that Kim did with her sisters, Courtney and Chloe. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should be, um, I already unboxed the Chloe one and the Kim one. Now, if I'm being honest, I was going by, like, favorite sister. That's how I was purchasing. But I was so wrong because this, the yellow diamond, you guys, the yellow diamond is the best out of collection. No doubt. This is the best perfume out of the collection. It is sweet. It is, like, it's sweet enough for me. Like, I don't like really sweet perfumes. I usually go for clean scents. This is, like, it's, like, such a healthy, like, balance of, like, sweet and clean. Like, I love this one. I love this one so much. I'm so glad I got it. I don't know. You know, you can't, you can't just be picking your faves, you know? Like, it's so, it's so, mm. And also, I don't like yellow. I like yellow, but not like that. But there were reasons why I didn't get this at first. And I should have got this first, because once I got it, I could have been done. Because I don't really care for the other two scents. Like, Chloe's is okay. Kim's, mm. <laughs> I thought I liked that one more. 
and sometimes it's like back and forth but this one is the best if you get any of those out of the diamond collection definitely get the Courtney one it's the best out of all of them period okay and last but not least I got the crystal violet musk from KKW fragrance I saw this I read the notes um, I saw that it had musk in it. I really like musk, obviously. Like, I hear musk and I'm like, yes. So, this had musk in it and I saw people's comments and they were like, can you please, you know, keep this in your collection? Can you please make this bigger? I was like, oh, it must smell really good. It does, okay? It really does. So, first of all, they give you this little cute packaging right here. And it comes with these little amethyst crystals. They're stuck. Which I collect crystals, so I was like, oh, that's cute. That's a cute little touch to have some amethyst in my life. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't know how I could chill it, but yeah, it comes with <laughs> this is the most awkward pose. It comes with three little crystals here. Um, amethyst to go with the fragrance and the color this is how it comes in the package like it's so extra you know like oh my God. and I love this packaging I wanted to get the other ones I believe it was the gardenia like when she came out with the three crystal gardenia perfumes that I didn't get a chance to buy but um, I want but yeah it comes in this little package this is a smaller one this it's so cute it's so cute and it smells so good y'all it smells oh it smells so good like I'm so like <clears throat> I'm getting emotional no <laughs> I'm so happy that I uh, purchased these three perfumes I was not disappointed with near one of them I love all three they were good purchases if you do pick up any ones any three of those are perfect this one's perfect i love this so much so yeah that's my last kkw fragrance so i'm just gonna do all of the shops that are not amazon first so this next package here is from a company called t chip i was about to say the wrong name this is t chip and i saw this on actually facebook i saw it on facebook they were advertising their t-shirts and when you order offline, it can be very hit or miss. Like, I have shopped on an Instagram shop, and they did not give me my product. They took my money. They didn't take any more money, but they took my money and never gave me my product. So, um, you know, I'm always a risk taker because I still shop off of Instagram shops and off of Facebook shops. But T-Chip came through, so... That's why I wanted to make sure I told you what the company was and everything like that in case you see T-Chip and you're like, oh, that's a cute shirt. Let me go buy that. They came through. So this is the shirt that I got. Oh my God. Is it not? Is it not cute? Oh my God. Look, I'm just rolling it up so you can see the whole thing. How cute is this freaking shirt? I'm going to Instagram this. I'm going to wear it and Instagram it. How cute. This is his freaking shirt. Oh my god. Oh my god. If you know me, you know I love, love, love Bob's Burgers. And to Karun. <laughs> if you know me, you know I love Bob's Burgers and to commemorate. Am I saying that right? I think so. I had to get a Bob's Burgers, Tina, Quarantina. Like, sure. Like, I'm a dork like I had to I love my graphic tees like I'm so gonna take a picture of this and they I love these type of tea shops because they just use basic t-shirts they use like Fruit Volume, Gildan um I forgot what the other brand was this company used Fruit of Volume, so I got in the 3x um just so it could be nice fitting this is unisex I love this shirt so yeah I trust them. I bought it. I got it. So so next is the one thing that I got from Zulily. I went on this shop because I needed some shoes for work. Um, sorry about the bag. <laughs> Tell me if you want me to like open the packages beforehand and then show it. 
kind of like opening the packages. I don't know. I like watching people open packages. I don't know. I'm weird. Just let me know if, you know, whatever. Let me know. Um, but yeah, I needed shoes for work. So I got me some Dr. Shows because your girl got some bad feet. Well, they actually got better. I had a month off of them. Um, if y'all saw a previous Amazon haul, y'all know I got some like massage stuff and all of that's been working so far. So, um, the massagers bomb. Like, anywho, these are the shoes I got. I just got some nice loafers here. I have big feet. I don't know how these are coming across. They probably look like boots on this camera. I don't know. But I really like these, and plus they're Dr. Show, so they have a thick sole. Now, I'm really nervous because it's medium width, and I haven't tried it on. So, and I don't like to return things, so we might just be stuck with shoes that we don't wear. But, um, yeah, they're nice. They're normal. I can wear them with my slacks. I'm just wearing, like, black slacks, gray slacks, or whatever. Um, it has cushion everywhere. Like, it feels like a thick like shoe is something that'll support me it's no no hill like i really like these so hopefully they fit hopefully they work and i can wear them to work because yeah i go to my location on tuesday so i hope they work but these are from zulily and they are dr shows the reason why i got them on zulily is because they were a lower price than they were on the website but honestly with shipping they would have came out to the same amount so it wouldn't have mattered so i definitely would price match like if you go on zulily it's supposed to be the cheaper price so i would definitely like go on the website see how much it is for that and shipping and then go on zulily see what comes out more affordable so yeah next is this obnoxiously big packaging for nothing like i promise you what's in here is like the small look look where i'll cut i'll cut it all the way down here like this this is where it's at this is where the package these scissors suck but this is where the item is this is a 360 ring hook um that's the brand ring hook that's what the item is and it's the, this is so cute it's this one right here. How cute is this little monkey? I got this because I like to change my hardware on my phone. I like to change my phone cover. Um, I ordered another phone cover. <laughs> I just like changing my stuff around. Like, and Amazon always comes through with the uh, this yes ASMR. Um, but yeah, I like to change my hooks. I like to change my cases. So I buy little things like this all the time. And I thought this was so cute. And it seems like very sturdy and very heavy duty. Um, and then you just remove the face. It looks like a frog. And this is what holds your phone up. Because I'm also an old lady who likes to watch videos on her phone. And needs it to be propped up while I eat lunch. I think everybody does that though. That's not an old thing. But yeah, I thought it was so cute. Next is this little package here. Um, I kind of opened it because I didn't know that this was what it was. Because it said, you know, when you go on Amazon and you look at your orders, it tells you when the stuff is being ordered. And it's not supposed to be delivered until next month. But this is a phone case. Like I said, I like to switch up my phone cases. This is a phone case. This did not look like it did on Amazon. Um, it's still cute. Like, it's still simple and cute. Like, I wanted something more simple. I love the marble on it. But this is basically just, like, like a sticker or, like, a wallpaper or something. Um, and it's a little, got a little chip, like, all the way at the end. So, it's not my favorite. I'm still going to use it because I purchased it. And I wanted to use it with that phone hook because I thought it would look cute with a rose gold phone hook. So I'm still going to use it, but ugh. not my favorite. Not my favorite. No, it's not. Box number 54. I don't know. So, next item. So, like I said, I was stocking up on my perfumes. And I got one of my faves. And that is this big Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. Out of all the daisies, this one's my favorite. Um, 
cannot wait to use this i got the smaller bottle and ran out of it so fast so i decided to get a bigger bottle um when and i did get this off of amazon when i get fragrances or something important off of amazon meaning <laughs> i want to get something named brand off of amazon i always try to go to that person's like page i want the seller to be mark jacobs i want the seller to be ugg i bought uggs um for christmas for my mom <sighs> i got it from a third party seller but it got i read the comments i did read the comments saw where everybody head is was at there was like one person who didn't um get the right uh shoe <laughs> Oh, but when I got mine, it was um, it was the right thing. It had the certification on it. It was the right UGG. But when it came to getting my favorite fragrances, I was like, I'm not risking it. Like, I need to buy it from the buyer. So I bought it from Mark Jacobs. Mark Jacobs sells on Amazon. Not him probably personally, but you know what I mean. So yeah, I got the big bottle. Oh my God, it's so big. Look. It's so cute. I got the, this the bottle is huge. I'm never running out of this perfume. But I needed this. I love the smell of this. It smells so clean. It smells so light. It definitely is better than Daisy in my opinion. Don't hurt me. Like if that's your favorite perfume, I'm sorry. But I tried this sample of Daisy and I didn't like it. But Daisy Dream, love. So yeah. From Amazon. Daisy Dream. <laughs> So next I'm going to be opening my Amazon packages. I have no idea what's in them because some of these I've ordered weeks ago and they're just now coming in. But, you know, it's all good. It's like Christmas. What's that? So let's open up my first package here. So, okay. So first I got the Joint Town face mask. Y'all know that now we have to wear masks in public whenever we leave out the house um even if we're in the car i heard even if you're in the car you should wear a mask so i just got me a mask um these are a 50 count and um i'm surprised they were even in stock like it's so hard to get masks the n9 ones that we are supposed to get are actually already promised to the healthcare workers a lot of places are selling them um if you go on Instagram and you check the shade room, they are promoting um, this mask company I know of. They're promoting their mask, but they're only selling you one for six dollars. <sighs> I just I don't know. I couldn't I couldn't get myself to buy them, but I saw these and I feel like these are good for every day because in the long run, it's to help others from not catching uh, the virus. Basically, you don't want to spread it. Um, because one, you don't know if you have symptoms. Two, if you're sick, you don't want to be spreading your germs to anyone else. So this is kind of protecting um, against spreading germs as much as possible. And it does help. Um, even though, I don't know if these really help or not. <laughs> like, I don't know. Because they didn't, before they were like, don't wear a mask. And then they were like, wear the mask. But anyway, I, I just like to make sure I have them. It just makes me feel comfortable. and makes me feel safe. Hopefully, it is helping prevention of spreading whatever germs I have. If I have any to give to someone else, making sure that they're safe. Um, these are the Joint Town. Last I checked, they are still in stock. It's very hard to get masks. Like, very hard to get masks. I swear, when this is all over, let me put this away. When this is all over, I am stocking up on masks because I have masks. I had masks before this whole thing started because my mom was around Jeremy little kids so I was like mom you need to put these on she never did so we wound up having a whole box of like black mask here so I was able to have some here for us or whatever but I'm talking about masks I always had hand sanitizer but I was like oh I just need like two I would leave one at home and then take one of my purse I'm stocking up on hand sanitizer like when people be like oh I forgot about it your girl didn't forget about it because I always used to use that stuff okay I'm gonna have some gloves on deck like I'm just gonna have it I don't know we might get some next year who knows I don't know this next package is, is a mismosh of things I'm dropping stuff so this is 
can't see the brand. That's what I was trying to show you. But this is my foot stuff. I was supposed to get foot stuff um, with my last haul with my nail polishes and stuff. I was waiting for my foot tools to come in. They're here. Um, they package is really well. And I do wipe down all my packages, by the way. I wipe it down with Clorox wipes and spray them and all that stuff. But this is what this is. This is just um, nail stuff to do your feet. Um, all the tools to give yourself a nice little pedicure, which I still desperate, desperately need. Can't even say it. But it has files. It has the foot scrubber. Um, it has the brush. It has a couple of nail files in it. Cuticle clipper. Like everything in it that I need. And I love that it comes in this little plastic case. So that way I can have something to keep it all together. Next is this little package. I'm such an old lady y'all. Look. And I'm like what did you need that for? What did you need that for April? So I got this little baby here. This is actually a pill container. This is to hold my pain medicine. You know when you have like, you know when you have like Advil and like my vitamins, like I just, it's not cute. It's just something like little cute compact that you can throw in your pocketbook to carry your medicine. I didn't even know they had these things and once I saw it I was like, I'm dead. Like I'm definitely getting this. So like my, you know, my vitamins for the day or if I just want to put some like Advils in here instead of having a whole bottle, which is what I do now. It's a little, it's a little ghetto, look a little druggy. So, I was like, why not just get a little pillowcase? And I found one. It's so cute. There's a little elephant. The trunk is up. You know, good luck. Holla. <laughs> oh, I know what this is. It's looking at it like, what is this? Um, I'll put everything down below, of course. Um, should I put the seller? Maybe? I don't know. I don't want to put the seller just because this is my first time like using all this stuff so I don't want to give a recommendation if it's not legit you know what I mean this box um so I have really thick hair and when I do my hair I like to separate it um cause it's just easier that way it's just easier that way so I got me some hairstyling clips if I can get this box open. Like there's a lot in here. What's it? It's an Amazon. What's this? Oh, it's like an Amazon like um like save your happy or not happy. A review card or something. But here are the clips. I love the gator ones. These ones are here. I love these because they grip the sh on my hair. I have really thick hair and it just helps like anytime I'm blow drying my hair, anytime I'm conditioning my hair, um, wash it, I separate it into four sections so I just needed some more clips. And they feel sturdy. They don't feel like they're going to break so I need them. I bought like eight of them. Where they are, I don't know. I bought them previously. Don't know where they are. Lost them. They're gone, they're gone forever. Oh, I'm falling, you guys. Yes, I have. So, next, I bought soap. I swear I buy soap like every couple. Anyway, this is Dove Sensitive Soap. This is for my badge. This is for my lower area. Um, I heard through the grapevine. And please let me know in the comments what do you use. You know, we can be discreet about it. Just say, hey, this is what I use. But I got Dove Sensitive Soap because I heard that was good for your vagina. Um, <laughs> I bought some Vagisil. Um, and it seemed like it was good. I mean, it said that it was doctor approved. And then I read something. It was like, no Vagisil. So then I was like, oh, I can't use that. I can't use that so I got some Dove um, to clean my lower region. Um, I like Dove so I said why not get the sensitive one 
see how it works. Like, I like the Vegasil, but they told me not to use the Vegasil. So, I don't know. Leave your comments down below. Do y'all use Dove? What do y'all use to, you know, because you know it's sensitive down there. I'm going to stop talking about badges. Okay, so next. Am I showing you my address? No, I am not. Next is another one of my fave. Joche and Gabbana the ones. This is one of my favorite fragrances ever. This is another item that said it wasn't coming for another month. So why do I have it? I have no idea. But this is Dolce & Gabbana the One. I love this fragrance. To me, Dolce & Gabbana the One is when you're trying to get sexy. So, you know, when I'm about to say boo, or me and Bae going on a date or whatever, I like to put on the Dolce, you know? Um, again, got it from Amazon, but made sure that the seller said Dolce & Gabbana because I just didn't want to risk it. Um, I was about to buy this from another seller in the comments. The reviews were just a no-no, so I said no-no. Um, oh, look at this. A longer bow. So, yeah, I ran out of this so long ago. Like, I literally have not repurchased this perfume in over a year. Why? Because it's, it's pretty pricey. And two... I found other fragrances that I was feeling and I just was getting those because they were less expensive but this is bae like I needed this in my life I had to get me a Dolce & Gabbana the one I was like I'm treating myself I'm reing up on my perfumes which I probably won't need to re up for like at least another year I'm good for a whole year so I got Dolce & Gabbana the one I love it I love this size this size is nice so yeah can't wait to put this on. This is definitely date night Dolce. Yeah. Next is this carton here. Another perfume. I told y'all I am stocking up. You won't need to buy perfume at all. Probably will though. This is another one of my top three favorites. This is Kat Von D's Saint. Um, love this perfume love this perfume this is my second time purchasing it no third time the first time I got like a super small one like um the $22 like spray you know the really small one and then my mom got me one for Christmas no I have one um love this perfume she also came out with center the same time that she came out with Saint it's not the same don't get center I'm sorry if you like it, but don't get it. This, this pack. First of all, this packaging is sexy. First of all, and then look at the bottle. Let me let me show you the bottle. How attractive is this bottle? I just, I literally just threw away my old one, and I was like, I have to get this one. Like, oh, look how pretty the bottle is, and so detailed and so perfect. Like. I love this perfume to death. This is definitely top three favorite perfumes ever. Um, I'm waiting for one more perfume to come in. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. That one is one of my favorites too. I have like the Kat Von D, the Dolce & Gabbana one, the Daisy Dream, and this one perfume called o Ophelia or no, Olympi, Olympia. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to chop it up. But definitely check out my Instagram. It is one of my favorite perfumes. And I'm waiting for that one to come in the mail. <sighs> so good. Once I have that, I'm complete. I'm good. I'm done with the fragrance. I'm done. Next package. Alright, so. I got some workout stuff. Yeah, I'm about to. Now, as y'all know, in quarantine, I was trying to do physical activity just to stay, you know, stay moving, stay focused. Um, now that I started working, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out my schedule and I need energy because I came, came back from work and I was like wanting to sleep. I don't know if it's because I've been in quarantine for, however, I've been in quarantine for like a month. I've been home. So I guess getting back up and out, it just kind of drained me. I don't know. But I'm going to figure out my schedule and I'm going to get back 
to doing my three workouts a week. So I got some of these armbands here. These are supposed to help tighten the arm jiggle. These were four um, plus size women. Oh, they stretched. They stretched. That's why. I'm about to, when I when I went on the site, it wasn't a site. When I went on Amazon to purchase these, it had a plus size um, woman as a spokesperson. But these are for your jiggly parts. They're for your arm fat. And it's supposed to tighten. For me, I don't want to train. Like they suggest that you put these on and you wear them throughout the day to kind of train your arm to kind of suck in. For me, it's not really about training my arms. I just, while I'm working out, I want to get the full workout. Like I want to sweat everywhere. So I was hoping that these would help me sweat. They feel like um, compression socks. That's what they feel like. And yeah, I just want to put them on my arms while I work out to help me sweat. Like I just want to sweat. So yeah, this was two pairs. So I got those and then I got these. And I just hope that it stretches over my arms and helps me sweat. Next, I got this um, I think it's a waist trainer. Um, but that's not what I got it for. So I got this right here. Um, it smells so weird. It smells smells like a new like car I don't know but this is a waist um, trainer I guess I wanted to sweat I'm not gonna wear this all day every day to chain train my waist like I know I'm not like I don't want to be uncomfortable but I do want to sweat like I said when I work out I want the full full experience I want to sweat from every orifice, orifice of my body so I got this to yeah to help me sweat my belly fat you know, put this on, strap it real good, sweat it out, get it out. Try to be like, Ooh, you know what I mean? Okay. And I will put down the brand and all that stuff down below. So, yeah. Next, I got this big box here. This came with did it come with why did I have a big box I don't remember I think whatever was in here I took it out so I got this here this is just a baby's like toy um my little cousin we kind of adopted like a little girl like <laughs> we've been really attached to her like her mom's a friend of the family's and you know my mom calls her like considers herself like her grandparent or whatever and so I feel like I'm her cousin I guess she's my little cousin and her first birthday is coming up May 2nd so I wanted to buy her something for her birthday um I want to wrap it and stuff like I wanted to be surprised you know it's her first birthday like how exciting is that so I got her this little this little play mat here isn't this cute Look how cute that is. She's a little, she's a little rough little girl too. She's, a, you know, she likes music and such. She don't, you know, she's not like the baby doll type of person like I was. She like, she wants to ravish and like, <laughs> she wants to play with things that, why are you playing with that? You know what I mean? So, but she's really into music. So that's why I got her this mat. I thought it was so cute. I was looking at baby stuff and I got baby fever so bad. I said, this is terrible. I wanted to buy everything. But I was like, girl, you need to chill. You need to chill. Okay? My mom also got her some really cute stuff from Amazon. Because Amazon was popping, okay? The baby stuff is so cute. But yeah, affordable, cute. First birthday. Put the batteries in. She could play on the mat, make music. Perfect. Okay, so this next item actually came in the bag with the mask and it is this little pouch here I got this for work because I really needed it um, 
I don't know if you can see them. They're like super small in here. But these are called nose ring retainers. And the reason why I definitely wanted to share this is in case you are like me and you have a nose ring but you need to cover it for a professional environment or if you're going to an event and don't want to show your nose ring, these are called nose ring retainers. They come in skin tone and they also come in clear. And you put them in your nose to save your nose ring hole and you could cover it up with concealer um it's supposed to look like completely invisible it's my first time really using nose ring retainers but it was so easy to find they have so many to use and yeah i needed these in my life because i cannot wear my nose ring at work so yeah so now we're on our last box it's kind of big so i just left it on the floor but yeah it's our last one thank you for sticking it out with me so i have the hill life portable garment steamer that is this right here i am the queen of i don't iron nothing okay i try to let it air not air dry <laughs> i try to let it uh dry in the dryer right <laughs> i try to let it dry in the dryer and just kind of unwrinkle itself so i was like maybe i shouldn't do that now because like my new job i gotta be a little bit more i gotta be a lot more professional than i was at my old job and um, I just want to make sure my stuff isn't wrinkled. So I got a steamer because I felt it would be easier. I can just hang the garment up and then steam it and make it look all pretty and ready. You want me to open it? Probably. Um, so yeah, I got a steamer. There was great reviews on it. They said this little thing packs a punch. I didn't want no big thing because the, the cup crack, the cup crack. <laughs> I was doing so well but the cup cracked well it's a cup we'll be fine as long as the thing didn't break so this is the steamer head right here um that bums me out i hate when i pay for stuff and stuff is cracked even if it's small it's still like a bummer because you pay for it uh, i have no idea what this is but if you do this is that um and this is the body right here the body with the plug and everything like that so yeah so I can iron my work shirts and stuff and not be you know and not be ghetto <laughs> and wrinkled oh I'm so bummed about the cup this was a good cup oh well oh well Broke, so I need to keep it. I'll put that in my little cubby. And then I got some white button up t shirts. This is what I have to wear for work. So I bought um, two shirts from one place, two shirts from another place, and then a shirt from another place. Um, as I get them, I'll let you know in the description box. Um, how each one fits. This is from Lee. Lee Writer by Lee. Um, I have to try this on, but it's just a button up. I got two of them. Same brand. Um, that's my uniform button up shirt with um, slacks of uh, black, gray, or navy, I believe. So I just got like five shirts um, from two different brands to see which one I like, see which one fit the best, and see which one I could reorder. So yeah, and this is why I got this steamer, because sometimes these shirts don't always come out right out the dryer. You might need to like iron them and stuff, so yeah, hopefully it works. The body looks like it fit, but yeah. I'll let you know how they fit in the description box, because I'm going to try it on right after this video. Hope you enjoyed that random haul i'll definitely leave everything down below in the websites that i got everything from along with the prices and for amazon i'll add the vendors so yeah thank you so much for viewing i love you guys so much i will see you all next week bye